work. There we go. That was me in May of 2009. That wasn't the worst. A year later, this was me at my niece's wedding. And I looked at that picture. You know how you have sort of a different image of yourself than what pictures really say? Well, I thought I looked pretty good and, you know, I get all dolled up and didn't think too much about it. And I'd look down and say, hmm, waist doesn't look too bad. <laughs> <laughs> and then I looked at this and I said no more this is I can't do this I can't do this didn't think about what was happening to me internally I was just looking at the outside and so when Jenny called me and said would you come do this with me I'll do it if you'll do it I said yeah let's sign up so it was actually it took us you know six months to get in the program and so the book was the the incentive for me to do HCC. So between January and May, my son was graduating from the Citadel and I was determined I was not going to be as heavy as this. So I did Weight Watchers that spring and lost about 15 pounds and then by the time I started HCC in September, I gained five back, but I was down 10 and I thought that was pretty good. So um, this is where I started. And this is the way I looked when we started HCC. That was the beginning of the before picture. Katie St. Clair was my trainer. And I thank Janice, <laughs> a weightlifter, um, an aquatics nut. And I love, found that I love classes like Zumba, which I was already doing some at another place, and Tybo. I never did a Tybo class until HCC. And I love Tybo. <laughs> I thought that I was active in working out. I had never knew what it really meant to work out the way I should. At the end of HCC, I lost 23 pounds and I lost 12 inches of body size. When, they, when you do your post test, they'll do all the tape measures again and things like that. And you'll be amazed at the inches that you will have lost. So I stuck with it through November to December. They had a, a month of you would sign up to do a race, you got a free month. So I did that. I lost six pounds between Thanksgiving and Christmas. Woo! Never, ever had that. <laughs> and then I signed up for phase two, which is going on uh, in the spring, and I lost another 10 pounds. So All right. at the end of uh, phase two, this was phase two work. I'm going to do that. I'm going to do that. that yes, we do too. We should do this that. Is sometime in the spring, I can't tell you exactly when. <laughs> this is what I look like in March. Of ow, ow. <laughs> and um, one of the funny things was um, one of my incentives was um, I kept telling Katie that I wanted Kelly Ripa arms because I would see her on TV. Really depressed. I didn't like who I was. Um, I struggle with self-hatred. Um, I've always been overweight my whole life. I'm actually smaller now than I was in fourth grade. So it's something that I've always struggled with, my mom struggles with, my grandparents. Um, so it's always been a battle for me. And I literally thought that um, I was meant to be fat. Like I really thought that there were people who are fat and there were people who are skinny and that being thin was never going to be in my cards. Um, so, um, when I did the challenge, Julie Pachetti, she was actually in, um, let's see, yeah, they're kind of in a random order. Yeah, this is one of me um, in college. I, mean, I think that was when I was closer to 297. If you'll go again, right? That's me when I was heavier. Um, okay, so I'm not married, just so you know, if you're missing one. <laughs> um, you can just stop right there. Um, I hated everything about me. So when I started the challenge, I literally couldn't tie my shoes without being winded. Um, Julie Pachetti, who was actually in the last pictures, she did the challenge before me. She's my best friend, one of my mentors in my life. And I was at a point where I was like, Julie, I don't know what to do. Like, I didn't want to live. I was struggling with why was I even alive? Why am I here? Um, and so she recommended the program to me. And um, 
told me to get on Katie's team, who she would have been on. So um, applied, didn't have the money to apply, just took a leap of faith with all of that um, and made it happen and was on Katie's team. Um, and it radically changed my life. The very first day, um, she had to run eight flights of stairs, and I thought I was going to die. I was going to cut my bags, go home. And when I went home and cried. I was like, what the heck did I sign up for? Um, but I, I knew I was ready. Um, I made the decision, and that's the hardest part. You guys have all made the decision. And once you make the decision, that's the hard part. The choices every day are easy. You've already gotten over the hard part. Um, so I knew I wasn't quitting. I threw that out of my vocabulary. I know some of you have talked to me. I've been very fortunate to develop some friendships with some of you guys and work out with some of you. Um, and I told you, throw quit out of the word. If you are still allowing that to be an option, tonight's the night you throw that out. Um, I was not letting myself quit. I had tried diets. I mean, I had diets like eggs and grapefruit was what I took to lunch when I was in middle school. I was on diet pills when I was in fifth grade, like stupid, ridiculous stuff. Um, and so quit wasn't an option, and I knew those weren't lifetime um, lifestyle changes. And that's why I was excited about the HCC. And if you're not taking it seriously, and if you're talking during these meetings, and you're not listening to your trainers, you're wasting your 10 weeks. This is an amazing program. You need to take advantage of it. Um, and it doesn't matter who your trainer is. They're all here for you. Janice is here for you. I'm here for you. Um, really take advantage of it and milk it for every minute that you have it. Um, so I did the HCC. I lost around like 60 pounds, I think, in the HCC. I won the challenge, which was fun. Um, I was determined to win. I was really competitive. Um, it has um, afforded me really cool opportunities. I lost 130 pounds so far. I was in a national magazine. I was in first for women for weight loss. Um, I've got to model in a bunch of different um, like wedding wow. stuff, which was fun. Um, so those are some of that. Um, this is Stephanie and what's his name? Uh, Tony. Tony. They also have lost close to. Uh, Tony's lost 100. Stephanie's really close to hitting 100 pound mark. Um, so we got to do a fun photo shoot. Never in my life could I ever thought that I could jump that high. Like jumping wasn't in my vocabulary. Um, and that one's cool because, as you know, I do. I'm certified to teach shadow now. Um, and so those are just things that you're going through. Um, Sexy. That's right. This is Katie um, This last year was us at the Pedal for Patterson's four hour spin a -thon. I'll never forget my first spin class that we did. My butt hurt so bad. So thinking about doing it for four hours, and I did it with a team last year, and I'm actually doing it all by myself this year. I'm doing all four hours on the bike. Um, I couldn't even walk a lap, and I now run a full marathon and a half marathon. You go to the next one. Um, there's me climbing a rock wall. There are all kinds of things that I wanted to do, but I doubted myself. I let my weight be what blocked me for accomplishing anything, not just physical. I never thought I was good enough to date anybody. I never thought I was good, smart enough. And it was all linked to my weight. I let it block everything in my life. And so not only, this is Joy, she was my mentor and my best friend. Um, she met me on mile 23 and started reminding me of day one of the workout of this challenge. Um, there were moments on that step mill that Katie put you on, and I think I still believe is Satan, Satan's piece of equipment. <laughs> I, there were I, would, I remember sobbing on that machine, like crying. It doesn't matter how you feel, don't focus on the moment and what you feel, focus on what you're going through, the process. Never focus even on the results. Sometimes you're not going to get the numbers that week, you know, but as long as you're doing what you need to do every single day, and maintaining a positive attitude, that's what matters. Amen. And the physical part is important, and that's something you're going to have to push through, but you're capable of a lot more. It's all <laughs> mental. And that's probably the biggest thing that I like to help people with is changing their thoughts and their expectations. Um, so that was me after French one marathon. I thought I was never going to walk again. <laughs> so bad. Um, I like that. made me a shirt that said from 282 pounds to 26.2 miles. And so it was cool because people were like high-fiving me and fist pumping me the whole way. <laughs> so that was me at the end. Um, so yeah, my life is radically different. I started a business. I sell vitamins and sports nutrition products. This summer I went and got certified with Billy Blanks to teach Shadow, which is the biggest honor. I'm a school teacher. I teach special needs kindergarten. Um, 
but and I love it. It's a very honorable, honorable profession. But my day starts when I get to come to class and teach. I absolutely love it. Like I'm, I can't imagine a better thing. Katie is amazing and has served me for three years um, as my trainer. James Boucher, who teaches Tata, trained me for free for countless hours, so I'll be ready for camp. Um, Billy is amazing. Janice is amazing. You're in a perfect program. Take advantage of it. And her advice was phenomenal. If you don't have a gym, and if you can afford it, stay here. I've been in a million gyms. There, this gym is unlike any other. I never, from day one, close to 300 pounds, never felt self-conscious coming in here. I always knew that people were supporting me, that people were um, all about my goals and about what I wanted to accomplish. And once you reach your weight loss, set a fun goal. It doesn't have to be a marathon. It doesn't have to be, just find something fun that you love and keep moving yourself forward. Um, but I'm here if anybody needs anything. I also have a piece of paper if people are interested in doing an HCC tablet class. I know I got a couple of your emails. Um, I'd love to do it. I'd love to help people out but um, and help you with your thought process because that's the biggest thing. People need to just throw a can out, throw a quit out. Um, just know you're worthy of the good decisions. You're good enough no matter where you're at, no matter what you weigh, um, and that you're capable of doing anything that your trainer asks you to. <laughs> Um, I will never forget the thought. Um, Katie asked me something to do something. I was like, yeah, you've been little your whole life. You grew up as a gymnast. Of course you want me to do that. <laughs> I was like, there's no way I can do that. But it's cool because I'm here. I've been through it. I, can, I know where you're at. And I'm here to tell you that you can do anything they ask you to. Um, and the thing that helped me through, I'm a Christian, so I just focused on, I can do all things through Jesus Christ who strengthens me. And I also told myself, I can do anything for 30 seconds. And once that 30 seconds was over, I told it to me again. I knew anything for 30 seconds. And um, it got me through the hardest workouts. So, um, yeah, that's it. Then you already know Blair's story a little bit. She's going to come and talk to you for just a minute. You know, we have a lot of people that have done this program that have gone on to do very amazing things physically, and Blair's one of them. And starting off, you know, the most unlikely people to ever do it. So. Hey, um, don't be playing my Blair now, Janice. I'm gonna have to, have to tell you to have a seat. <laughs> Just trying to play. Hi, I'm Blair. Um, happy Valentine's Day. I'm really excited and honored that I can be here <laughs> um, to talk to you on Valentine's Day. I was thinking about it, and I'm like, it's really cool because the biggest thing I've gained is self-love, which I think is one of the most important things. So what a perfect day for me to talk. Um, I don't have a fancy PowerPoint because my computer was being silly, so I just have some random pictures. But um, I did the challenge in 2009 in the fall, and I started at um, my heaviest. I weighed 297.8 pounds. I lost a little bit um, before the challenge, so I started the challenge at 286. 282.8. Um, hopefully, she'll pull some pictures. It'll be. <laughs> Which removable disc is it? I don't know. <laughs> it's on there. So it should be. I don't know how much weight I had lost, but this was during the program. This was one of my students that I taught, and she actually passed away during the program. Aww. And um, Ty, that was the biggest thing that got me through that, but. It was so cool because I had an outlet to turn to you. After I left work that day, I went to the bridge, and she was wheelchair bound. Um, I went to the bridge, and I was like, you know what, she couldn't even walk. And I can run, and the only thing keeping me from running is my mind. And so I decided that I was gonna run the whole bridge and not stop. And that was what started me running a race, and that was the day I decided that I could run a marathon, and that I was going to, no matter how long it took me. So, anyways, yeah. <laughs> 